Amazing! Oh. <laughs> Ryland joins us now. Feels like a different world away now. I know, but you were still there, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Literally, day one to day now. Absolutely. I well, know, it's I'm crazy. so proud of you. Thank you. We are so... We just love you. Obviously, we, you, we when you come back here, we just get so excited <laughs> and we get so buzzy that Ryland's in the studio. It's so lovely seeing everyone. Like, just seeing all the crew downstairs. Oh. I was like, what? What's it like seeing yourself ten years ago, though? Oh, it makes me that? heave. But <laughs> I, was... <laughs> I loved it. No, do you know what? I, I, I've said for years, every single year, I used to sit to Dermot every time we used to bump into each other. I used to always watch that Judge's Houses moment once a year where I sort of had the moment with Nicole when I found out I was getting through just to remind myself every year what it meant to me to be doing the job I'm doing now. Yeah. So, yeah. But everyone who we talk to absolutely adores you, Ryland. Absolutely. You're lovely to everyone. You have not changed in that... For me, you have not changed in that 10 years. You're exactly the same person. Yeah, I, I think I went through a few years and different experiences where I felt different in the sense of... I didn't feel myself. Um, but yeah, like now, I, it's very, very odd seeing like a, a clip like that because I feel more myself now than I did sort of five years ago. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really, really odd. Well, really let's odd. talk about this new book. It's out. Ten. <laughs> it's the last ten years. It is. The highs and lows of your life. Yeah, a lot of highs. What made you want to pen this out? The money. <laughs> <laughs> um, was one thing. <laughs> no. You no, know but what? it started off as one book, didn't it? And then it turned into it something did. completely different. It did, it? yeah. So when when obviously we would I did my first book back in I think it was 2016 and and people bought it. It was a bestseller, and I was like, why? Um, yeah, smashed it both. <laughs> And then, ten years, it just felt like... I, I, my Twitter bio and things like that have always been started off as the joke, still laughing. Yeah. And, like, I wrote in the back of the book, like, I didn't think I should have lasted ten minutes. A lot of people didn't. So to mark ten years, I thought, I've got to do something. I want to do something for me. Um, and, yeah, so it was just going to be sort of lessons that I've learned along the way. I didn't want it to be, like, a stereotypical, I was born then, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. I've done that. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, obviously, I went through a, a divorce and a breakup midway through the book writing it. So, yeah, the book sort of became two separate things. It sort of became why I disappeared for so long, what happened during that time from my own head, and what happened across that 10 years. Just so it... None of it's in order. It's, it's more lessons. Did yeah. it become a, a kind of a, a strange therapy or catharsis for you to actually... It, yeah. Because, like you said, your life fell apart halfway through. Oh, my, literally fell apart, like, to, to the worst point, to be perfect. So, honest. you know, you could have easily just jacked this in and gone, do you know what, I, I I'm, did, I'm not going to I did for a bit. Right, yeah. yeah, I did for a bit, because I was like, I don't want to do anything. I wasn't coming back to work. I was not coming back to work. I had, I think it was five or six months off in the end. Um, and you guys know me, I don't have days off, let alone Never. months off. That's what was so yeah. weird. When it happened, I was like, what is going on? Yeah. And the weirdest thing for me is I, I was thinking, at the time, you had everything, everything was perfect. Yeah. And there was something inside that said to you, I need to tell this yeah. secret that is burning inside of me yeah. to my then-husband. Yeah, like, what, I what, knew... Because, like, did you, at that time, did you think you could work through it or did you think he was going to leave when you was going to tell it? Or what, I, what was you I, thinking? I... Something was wrong and I couldn't work out what it was. Some, something didn't feel right to me. And you know when you've got that gut feeling? Yeah. It, it just overtook my body. And, and I, I said to my, my ex that something happened years ago and I've got to tell you about it. And I expected, which sounds crazy, but if you know the situation, you might. I expected, OK, I understand, which sounds ridiculous. Let's work through it kind of thing. Yeah. And it wasn't that, it was the complete opposite. And yeah. that threw me. And lo and behold, I, I spiralled completely out of control. I ended up having to be admitted somewhere because I was a threat to myself, mm -hmm. is the most polite way to say it. Um, I tried to do some stupid things. And then everyone kept asking me, what made you get better? I just couldn't get out of this mindset. I just could not get out of the nothingness, that's, yeah. that's all it was. I could hear and see everything, but couldn't hear a thing or see anything. Yet so, you're so loved and everybody loves you so very much. But none of it mattered. Nothing mattered to me. Not, not one thing mattered to me, like my poor mum having to go through all of that and, and everything. And then one day, just knowledge and knowing you're not crazy yeah. is the best way to put it, snapped me out of it and went, I knew, I knew there was a reason why I woke up that morning and said what I said. Yeah. And now I've got my answers. And did you come to that conclusion yourself, or was that with the help of other... Of other it was a sort of an amalgamation of... It wasn't myself. I couldn't help myself at all. I couldn't dress. I couldn't eat. I went down to nine stone. I'm six foot four. Like, it was disgusting. 
the, the, the state that I got in. But yeah, when, when you start to hear things and know things, just knowledge is power. Yeah. I know it sounds crazy, but it really, really sure. is power. And the fact that I now know that I wasn't going mad, I wasn't crazy, woke me up. And then in terms of then putting pen to paper with that, was that an easy thing to do? Did you find that quite then, OK, I know where I am now, I'm going to write about this, or was that was it then hard to revisit that? It was really, really hard. And actually, the first chapter, I, I kick off with it, I thought, get out of the way. Um, there was three That's, versions. I mean, I read it straight away. Yeah. I was in the book. You're in. It You're in. Like, You're I was there. It. Sorry, darling. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Um, but I wrote that version three times. The plain version, you know, the PC version, the angry version where I've laid everything on the line since and gone, this is why mm -hmm. and this is what. And I've sort of merged the two, I think, to... Uh, look, I don't need to be one of those people that sit here and go, this happened, that happened, then yeah. this happened, then that happened, and this... I don't want to be that person. No. I know what happened, and that's all that matters. But there's enough in there that I think. And ultimately, it was it. honesty. It was truth. Yeah. It was your truth. You didn't. I can't. I can't deal with the lies. Yeah. I can't deal with lying. I'm not good with it. I, I can't deal with the weight on my shoulder. And do you think the weight's off your shoulder now? You've majorly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, abs I'm absolutely fine with who I am. Yeah. Good. Definitely. And obviously, uh, this morning is a big part of your life, Massive and obviously, part. probably you're one of your favourite parts of. of the decade. What are your fond memories of being here? Oh, so many. I mean, like from starting in the hub, God rest the hub. God man, rest <laughs> the hub. Um, was... Why did they get rid of that? It was so good. I know, I know. But like, <laughs> you know, from starting in the hub, and then I remember the first time I ever hosted the show with Ruth. So it was just, oh, it was just amazing. You know, Ruth and Eamon are like my telly mum and dad. Yeah. Like this morning, really, really carved out my ten years, and you know, to be to go from X Factor reject, whatever you want to call me, to. No. Well, you know what I'm saying, but to then sitting on this sofa, I'm the same age as this morning. We were born in the same month. <laughs> so to be sat on this sofa hosting it, it's just amazing. Well, I, I see your point, though. I mean, I've always thought you've had a lot of talent, but I see your point. I remember, I remember I forget, we sat down the night of judges' houses and it was like, by yeah. the time we wrapped, it was like 2am or something. I mean, Ryland sat just, um, and we had our feet dangling in the pool and just had a beer. That was we, so nice, though. It though, was I weird, wasn't that. it? Because it was silent. It was very it was still silent. silent. Yeah. And, and I just said to you, you know, and I'm no sage or anything, but I said, your life's going to be very different. It doesn't matter. What happens on this show? I know I, you, know, you just got it, but it could have gone a different way. You could have just could have gone could have gone the other way. Listen, and even when I left, I mean, I was semi-finals or quarter-finals. I can't remember when I left. So you know, I'd had a good run on the show. In my head, I thought I learned a couple of grand. My car's just blown up. I might get myself <laughs> a little smart car, sing in a couple of gay clubs, and I'll be off it. <laughs> like, that was me. <laughs> Ten years old, I'm still here having a good old go <laughs> on my second set of teeth. So yeah. <laughs> and can I just say those teeth are amazing. I'm loving <laughs> the teeth. <laughs> mummy rung me this morning, going, "Tell Alison how gorgeous she looks." I'm like, oh, oh, well, 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 thanks, well. mummy. <laughs> yeah, well, mum. And Radio Two is just going from strength to strength. But I, c I couldn't believe when I read in the book that you weren't even going to. Do it. You were no. like, well, surely I'm Radio 1. Yeah, no, literally, they wrote and was like, you know, Radio 2 would like you to take over Zoe's show. She's moving to, to a different <laughs> slot. And I went, how old do you think I am? Like, what? I didn't I didn't really listen to radio because I was always just listening to Spice Girls and Steps in my AirPods. <laughs> so, but actually, it was the best decision I ever made because yeah. what the one thing that people come up to me in the street the most, I was in Glasgow yesterday, and um, someone just came up to me and went, always listen to your Saturday afternoon show. Me and my people wife love absolutely it. love it. I, I just didn't realise how many people oh, still used radio. Because I remember it as a kid, but yeah, yeah, as you yeah. grow up, you know, people are watching Netflix now and stuff like this. And, yeah, it's just crazy. I love it, but they, they let me get away with murder on that show. I, I don't know how <laughs> I do half <laughs> the show. Karaoke for me. I karaoke. Karaoke is the moment, yeah. You have to talk Eurovision. What oh, can yeah. You tell us? What can you tell us? What's the goss? Well, obviously, we're heading to Liverpool, which is amazing. It's on UK turf. We're throwing Ukraine's party for them. Yeah. Um, I know I'm going back to Eurovision, which I'm really excited about. Scott's going back, so we're all really, really excited. Um, no one knows what don't we're know doing what yet. yet. I don't know. I'm, listen, everyone we keeps need to asking. Go. Oh, God. Get in yeah. on it. <laughs> everyone keeps saying, island. Are you hosted it? Are you hosted it? I was like, listen, I would. Definitely bet Graham will 100% oh, be hosting man. it. Um, but I don't... Listen, the less work I have to do, the better, because I get... I just want to be there. I, yeah, let's just You do have it. to come. Yeah. You, I will smuggle you in. I'll sort you out an accreditation somewhere. Ryan, thank you, mate. <laughs> but the book is out. It looks amazing. We've got, both got one. Oh, look at this. We Two Rylands. These. Oh, God, it's 10. Amazing. It's the decade that changed my future. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you, I was Ryan. in on the first page. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Ryan. 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 Nice to see you.